Hello and welcome to Tip and Trick RAC001 titled Copying Levels. The purpose of the Tip and Trick is to enhance your skills and share with you solutions to problems that other users have experienced. Our tips and tricks are created from the top 30 support calls logged with our support desk. If you require more information on our support desk, then please contact Customer Services on 01784 419911 or email customer dot services and cabline.co.uk all of our tips and tricks can also be found at our website which is www.cabline.co.uk please remember we are issuing tips and tricks for all Autodesk products as well as the one you're about to watch okay so we're going to produce some levels within Revit architecture here often we find that when people copy over their levels they find that they don't have the floor plans that come with them if I go into my elevations here and click on, for example, East Elevation, by default, Revit gives us level 0 and level 1. Now, if you wanted to produce some more levels, we could simply go into our Basics tab and click on Level and literally place those in, like so. This will give us a corresponding floor plan, as you can see, that keeps appearing in the Project Browser up in this corner here. Now, from that, if we had 50 levels, this might be quite time consuming in order to gain these floor plans. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way around this so that we don't have to go and add in each of those manually. If I just go back there, I'm going to use the copy function within Revit to do this. So I'm going to select my level 1, for example, like so, and I'm going to select copy. Just make sure you've got your multiple tick box selected up there, like so, and I'm now just going to literally click all the way and place my new levels in. Now while I'm doing this, if this was using our manual process, we would be seeing the floor plans being produced in our project browser in the top left hand corner. Because we're using the copy function however, it will only copy up a level and won't in fact insert a floor plan. So that is the reason why they're shown as black instead of blue. So we're going to now need to activate the floor plans for these levels. So in order to do this, I'm just literally going to go into my View tab and I'm going to click on Floor Plan. If I click on that, I'm going to hold down the Shift key and click Level 14, like so, and I'm going to click OK. This will now activate all of these levels and give us a floor plan for each one of these. And we can see now in our Project Browser, there are our floor plans that we've just now created. If I go into my Elevation, we'll see that these now all appear blue as they should do. And that is how you can copy over levels within Revit architecture very quickly. Thank you.